written before the Arab Spring, the visionary Tunisian play Amnesia opens this evening in Lille as part of the Forbidden Paths Festival. Amnesia, which is touring in Europe at the moment, is a show produced by Tunisian actors. It bears the signature of Fadel Jabi and Jalia Bakar, who imagined the downfall of a powerful man and the network which dragged down the whole population well before the Jasmine Revolution and the fall of Ben Ali. Very active on the Tunisian political scene, the two artists have been working for the past 30 years to raise awareness and promote the identity and dignity of a country paralyzed by its ruling regime. The piece is about a minister who hears of his dismissal on television and is placed under house arrest. For us, the idea came from what we've endlessly and for years been trying to do, theatre which fights against collective amnesia. All our shows could have come under the title Amnesia. Work on the memory has been a vocation for us for a very long time. You presented Amnesia in Tunisia in spring 2010. How did you manage to avoid censorship? We didn't avoid it. The censor came down on us like a ton of bricks. We were in purgatory for two months before the show was freed. The play was written under the Ben Ali regime and it defied the regime, the mafia and the rest of the scum. It's a play which has become indispensable and incontrovertible. The people want to see what it looks like. Jaibi wrote the play with actress, partner and wife Jalila Baka. They were both on the front line of the Jasmine Revolution. The revolution was really a revelation. It revealed what was magnificent, but also what was abhorrent about Tunisia. From January the 14th, for three days, there was an incredible spirit of solidarity between the Tunisians. We were on a cloud. And then some people wanted everything, and now... Under the regime, we couldn't dream, couldn't really reflect. And now, with the revolution, Tunisia can begin to see itself. Also in the play is award-winning Arab actress Fatma Ben Saidin. She, like the rest of the cast, will be heading back to Tunisia to vote on Sunday before resuming the tour.